you say you're looking in the nautical almanac, so you're conceding that the Earth is a sphere, Flatzoid. That's what you just did. You just conceded that the Earth is a sphere because the nautical almanac uses spherical maths. You say you're looking in the nautical almanac, so you're conceding that the Earth is a sphere, Flatzoid. That's what you just did. You just conceded that the Earth is a sphere because the nautical almanac uses spherical maths because the nautical almanac uses spherical maths because the nautical almanac uses spherical maths <laughs> in its calculations congratulations no wonder you were 44 544 kilometers off to take time as well because nautical almanac tells you the time where it is every date. minute exactly. there exactly the nautical almanac just tells you this is the position of the st I'm fucking destroying you, Flatsoid. You're not smart enough to realize it. Star. Actually, you're destroying yourself by spewing horseshit while I'm debunking you. Because you know the star is at this position thanks to the Nautical Almanac, you have just given your distance. Nautical Almanac doesn't say how high the star is. Doesn't say with the altitude of any star, Flatsoid. Doesn't have to. Don't worry, he's just making it worse for himself. Okay. The altitude. See, on a, on a, on a globe Earth, they're millions of miles away. We don't need to know the altitude of them. Sorry, so is that hypocritical or not? On, yeah, a, globe yeah, Earth, exactly you, on a globe Earth, you don't need to know the, the height, but on a... No, because they're millions of miles away, and the, the relationship between... The angle you're seeing in, seeing the mat and where you are on the globe is a linear function. It's not a linear function on flat Earth. And everything's close and local, so you would have to definitely know the, the height of them. On flat Earth you do. What? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> Why is that? What's the explanation for that, Sean? Aren't they all assumed to be just set on um, celestial sphere, or aren't they? Yeah, they, they make you go to the center of Earth to get that angular reading. Yeah. No, we, we don't, Flat Soid. body arrives at the Earth in a narrow band of rays that can be considered parallel. From your geometry, you remember that a straight line cuts across parallel planes at the same angle. So an angle observed at the surface of the Earth is really the same as that at the center. We don't. But, continue. There's, there's no height or distance, whatever you want to call it, involved whatsoever. It's from the star to you. But finish the video, Flatsoid. And all we had to get... I mean, it's a minute and a half long, dude, and it's taken you 20 minutes to get this far. <laughs> was an apparent... See, so he's got to give his little damage control as he goes. Altitude angle. I don't need to know the height of the star, because that's just shit. You don't need to know the height of the star. The height time of the star... That, um, yeah? Time for that citation I've just posted. Okay, uh, in... Element. There we go, Sean. A sextant is used to measure the altitude of celestial body above the horizontal line. Right, the altitude, the angular height, not the altitude of the fucking thing, dipshit. It's the angular height. Right, the altitude, the angular height, not the altitude of the fucking thing, dipshit. <laughs> you dumb motherfucker. It's, a, it's degrees, it isn't, it isn't miles, okay? Line of reference. Altitude, in this case... Altitude, not a distance in feet above sea level. This is a special use of the word describing an angular measurement. Not a distance in feet above sea level. Right, but you need to know how, how high that star is to know how far it is away from you. Nautical Almanac doesn't say how high the star is. Doesn't say with the altitude of any star, Flatsoid. Doesn't have to. Oh boy! <laughs> Boom!